Okay, we're just going to demonstrate the Commodore 65 in action here, so we can see we're just uh, starting it up normally in uh, Commodore 65 mode, and just the opportunity to uh, have a look at the startup banner there. And uh, what should we do? We'll jump to 64 mode, uh, like on the 128, you can do go 64, and there we have it. Uh, it takes a bit more of the screen. It has uh, smaller borders than traditional 64. And here you can just see I'm just typing some letters in different colors so that you can see with the RGB, red on blue is actually quite clear. You get no chromatic distortion because we're using RGB. So that's one nice thing actually about the, uh, the 65. So we'll just chuck a, a disk in here and uh, restart. We've got a, an auto start file. We'll start in 64 mode by doing Commodore reset, to, like on the 128. Uh, nice and convenient with the reset button there on the left. Now if we just reset normally into 65 mode, uh, this will read the auto start file off the disk that I put there. Uh, so it's telling us some things here, so we'll jump to 64 mode and uh, we'll load that up. Uh, notice that the disk drive um, device 8 is the default device, there's no tape support whatsoever on the, uh, the 65, so they've skipped the need for us to put the device number for the disk drive in. And so here's a little text editor, a clone of the uh, MG editor that people might have used on Unix systems back in the, uh, the mid late 90s. Uh, just to demonstrate that you can make some real software for the 65. So we've got a nice status bar at the bottom, like a, any nice Emacs clone. And uh, we'll just load a file in. And uh, there we go. So this is 80 column mode in Commodore 64 mode on the 65. And Plenty of CPU in uh, fast mode to scroll the uh, the 80 column screen. So it's a bit of a, a note that I made about this disk when I wrote the code, uh, golly gosh, about 16 years ago now, when I first got the 65 and did a bit of work on it. And we'll show that uh, Commodore 65 demo, which is possibly the only uh, demo scene kind of demo that was made for the 65. And uh, don't try and contact me with those details, they're long out of date. So we'll load the demo up here. So this demo has a, a modified Sidging tune that runs in stereo. Uh, not that you'll probably be able to hear that particularly well uh, here on YouTube. Um, and it really is just a, a very basic demo. So we've just got a, a few greets flying out at the start. And uh, there we are, we're going to some nice uh, raster color bars. So just demonstrating that there's uh, way more than 16 colors at play here. Um, very simple, but there we have it. So now we'll, uh, I wrote a, a BMP file viewer, so it just views standard 320 by 200, 256 color Windows bitmap files. Now, reportedly one of the reasons that the uh, Commodore 65 was actually canceled was that the disk drive was too slow. And you can actually see here, so to load the whole image is 64 kilobytes, and it's going to take something like 42 seconds. Now it is true that from 65 mode, this would actually be quite a lot faster. It would probably actually be sort of five or 10 times faster to load. So I think the uh, the concerns about the disk drive speed were a little bit uh, overrated, particularly given that everyone ends up making fast loaders and the disk drive in theory can read about 30 kilobytes a second. Uh, but you can see from that image that it can actually uh, display the uh, 256 colors at 320 by 200, uh, which in fact the Amiga 500 couldn't do. And so here we're just loading up a, another image, which is a, uh, a nice image of a Julia set. Uh, this isn't being calculated in real time, of course, it's just loading it from the image. But uh, you can certainly see how, without making a decent fast loader or further improvements to the DOS set, people might have been a little bit concerned about the disk drive speed. So we'll just chug our way through. Do, 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 do. pretty much there and we'll just pan around a little bit so that you can see that it is indeed uh, using um, full 256 colors it's not simply uh, a 32 color image like on the 500 so there you have it a working Commodore 65 